All right, this is the sixth video in the series. This goes over how to generate your own function, user-generated function. It goes over two key concepts, the difference between an expression in Maple and a function. Let's get started. Okay, so the first part is I wanna talk about the difference between an expression and a function. For example, if I say a times x squared plus b times x plus c, that is an expression. And we can assign that expression to a variable. For example, abc is defined as, well, we'll just copy and paste here, copy and paste. And there's our expression as assigned to a variable. If you want to change the expression such that you would like to substitute or evaluate, that's the key word here, uh, x to a different term, you can create, say, abc2, where we evaluate the expression we have labeled as abc, where x is now equivalent to something like y, y, y. And now we have a new expression, which is attached, or is, has been assigned, to the variable abc2. Another way we can do it is we can also say, well, actually, x has a definite value. x is defined as zzz. Then if I look at abc, it's going to go back and say, oh, whatever x is, it has now been assigned the expression zzz. And so now the expression abc is, still exists. Now, abc2 did not change because that's a different expression. That includes the expression y, y, y. Now the problem is a lot of the times we would like to evaluate x at different moments. And so by assigning x to a variable, now we have this new expression. And what if we want to assign x to another variable? For example, if I say x equals u, 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 and I say, what's ABC? Um, it can do that, but it tends to be less readable. What we prefer to do is to create a function. So my func, which is a function of X, and in this case, X is a dummy variable. It is a placeholder. It is defined as A times X plus B times X plus C. So if I put in my func where I want X is equivalent to R S T, it will notice it will substitute R S T into this placeholder variable and then substitute in there and return with another expression. And we can do this with other examples. My func Let's say we want to change x and we want to make it um, 3. Then it will substitute the value 3 in here and actually do the calculations out. But of course, if we still say my func of x, since x is equivalent to zzz, oops, nope, now x is equivalent to u, 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 it substitute the base version of x into this dummy version of x, and the output is u, u, u squared a times a plus u, u, b times b, etc. For best practice, it's good to create a function in the situation where a formula might be used multiple times with different values or expressions. So, how do you create your own function? Well, it basically, it looks, reads exactly what you normally think of a function. A function of x and let's put a restart here. A function of x is defined as x times sine of x. And you'll notice what it does is it says f is this variable that is holds our name of our variable. It takes in something which we will label as x, which is a dummy variable, and it substitutes it into this formula of, of x times sine of x. The advantage is that you can create another variable, say f2 of x, which is equal to x times sine of x. 
Okay, and you can then say is f of x equivalent to f2 of x, and it will substitute those things in, and that is true. Now, if you don't remember how to do it, actually, it is labeled here in the palettes, and there it is right there. That is how to make a one argument function. Okay, let's say our argument is g, it takes a big X and puts it into X squared. Notice all I do is just keep hitting tab, tab, tab. And again, that is the same as saying g of x. And it's now. But notice again, reminder, small x, lowercase x is the same as uppercase x. It is case sensitive. The advantage of maple is now once you've created this function, you can actually make all sorts of things. So I could say f of 3, f of pi, escape, the pi in, f of 3.2, f of a plus b, uh, f of, I don't know, a, b, c, and it will calculate all those things, 3 of sine of 3, f of pi, f of 3.2, etc., etc. Writing a multivariable function is not too difficult. Let's say we make create big F, which requires both F and Y, and basically all it does is add F and Y. There's our expression there. Notice again, it says it's going to take in these two dummy variables for which you have to supply an expression or number, and it will then substitute it into that particular formula. So I can now say F of 1, 2, F of pi 3, uh, F of 1.2 comma 3.4 and f of f0 comma theta. And it goes through f of 1.2 is 3, f of pi 3 is 3 pi, 4.6, f0 and theta. There is no reason why you can't use user-defined functions in other functions. Notice we actually used a maple-defined function to create our own function, but we could also create the big function g, which needs an x and a y, and it basically is going to choose f of x plus f of x and y. And so again, we're going to give g something. Let's put a and b in for x and y, it's going to take the a and put it into this first expression and do that calculation, and then it's going to take b, a, and b and put it in that expression and pull it out. And when we hit enter, you can see we get a times sine of a plus this combination of a and b. I encourage you to do some of the practice problems in the document. Our last example is what happens if you have an expression and you'd like to turn it into a function? Historically, it's required using one of the most unintuitively named functions in Maple, or procedures in Maple. Here is what it looks like. Let's say we have our expression, and it is x plus y plus z. I've already restarted. There's our expression. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a function out of it, okay? of x and y and z, which is basically this expression. Unfortunately, even if I spelled it properly, it still won't work. So what I need to do is actually make a function from the expression and tell it which of the variables it is are really going to be used here. So f is going to be a, we're going to make a function from our expression, and the variables we're going to put in are x and y. And we're going to leave z as it is. When you hit enter, it looks something like that. So now I have this function f, which I can put in 1 and 2, and when it adds it up, it adds to 3 plus z. z has not changed. But notice, f is now defined as the variable that is created from the make function. Historically, this by the way, this only works in April 2023, you've had to do the following. f, g, let's make g, is the unapply procedure from our expression x, y. And again, nobody remembers the term unapply. So at least if you want to make a function 
From an expression, you use the make function expression. And I encourage you to look at the document that's attached to each video. At the end of each document, I put in a troubleshooting section. These are common errors that come up in using Maple. They're often very simple solutions, but until you see them, you may not know what to do.